Um, I'm Nilifer Yanya. I'm from London. Um, I'm a singer songwriter, guitarist. I'm here at South by Southwest. My first it's, time. It's your it's your second day of performances here. Yeah. I think it was your second performance just before. Very yeah. brief uh, brief set with interview. <laughs> um, what have the what have the experiences been like so far? It's uh, um, a long way for both of us to travel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the flight was the flight was long, um, but it's been pretty chilled so far. But I don't want to say that because. <laughs> Because it's probably going to be less chill as the week continues. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but it's been a nice start. I played yesterday at SoundCloud, SoundCloud thing, and then um, had some like interviews this morning, and then came here and played stuff. So you're doing a mix of sets. You're doing some, yeah, sort of as a duo, and yeah. then some as a band. Yeah, I have my band with me as well. So how, what's this kind of setup for it's, the band? Uh, we've got a, so we've got saxophone. And then we've got bass and drums. It's still pretty simple. Still pretty simple, but you know, much, much, still a bigger sound yeah, than, yeah, uh, yeah. Than, than the intimate. Sound. Drums makes such a difference. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I mean, you know, it's. I mean, we were lucky that the room wasn't crazy loud. People were actually listening. Because you never know at this festival. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it can be. It can be pretty difficult to get people to pay attention. Mm, yeah. Too busy with their free drinks and their <laughs> free Mars bars. <laughs> yeah, I guess like every show though. Mm. And I think living in like London, you're kind of used to that. And, like, yeah. Like those are the first shows I played, like just you know, have in you, the city. So. Have you found that difficult, like with the, uh, you know, at the beginning, kind of getting people to listen at shows and trying to? It's. I mean, it's kind of off-putting in its own way, but then sometimes you kind of you feel, feel like you have more freedom and people aren't listening so much, so you can. Not like you don't care, but like you feel like you don't care as much. You're like, well, if they don't care, then I don't care, so then I'm gonna do whatever I want. And it's quite a nice feeling sometimes. So, you know, but obviously everyone listening is me. Really ideal. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And and the more people get to know your music, the more that that's gonna just happen naturally. Yeah. As well, and of course you've been releasing a lot of music over the last year. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you played a couple of songs off your latest EP yes. up there today. Um, you know what? How, what has the response been like for, for the EP and, and and how far back does that music go? Um, the most recent EP, I wrote those like last year, like 2017, yeah, end of 2000, oh no, like end of 2016, mm. beginning of 2017, mm. so like a year and a half old, which is I think is a nice um, time to let your songs go. Yeah. <laughs> I know sometimes you get an EP out this early in the career and it's like, yeah, I wrote them six years ago. I've been yeah, sitting on them. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I have friends like that who like work on the albums for like seven years or... But I guess, you know, no one else is going to be able to tell. It's just you. So it's nice for me to be able to write music and then release it Yeah. as I go along. Yeah. But like the first stuff I released was like a few years old, like two years old or something. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, it was a beautiful setup in there just Thank with you. the sax and the um, and, and the guitar um, it's um, you know soulful is the probably easiest word yeah. to use to describe this sort of experience as a, as a listener um, tell me a little bit about kind of the development of your sound you know how from kind of when you started to where you are now how, how have you found your sound to have developed over that time well I think it's um, it's got a bit more expressive maybe but I think that's just due to kind of knowing what you can and can't do and like learning things and uh, yeah, it's just like realizing there are no kind of limits to the sound, like you can create whatever you want. At the beginning, like, it was very stripped back because it's kind of like all I knew how to be able to do and like I think now I'm adding more elements and different things and I think it will continue to expand. And I mean, the, it's catchy too. I mean, what I love about the music is, Thank you. you know, it has that soulful edge, but it also has a very pop edge to it as well. Like, it's it's clear that you you can write like a really commercial pop <laughs> song as much as you I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't know. I think I th I think you've got it in you. You know, you can because uh, because you, you're making this kind of beautiful soulful music like so catchy and like it just gets stuck in your head. And I really love that about it. Thank you. And and I think that's what people are connecting with. It's that. Um, 
uh, it's it's accessible, but it's still original. Okay, yeah. It's not commercial pop. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, imagine, I imagine that's a goal. You want people to connect to the music. Yeah, I want people to connect to it. But also, I want to be able to connect to it. So if it's too... You know, too far away from something that I could connect to, then yeah. it's not going to be any fun. Yeah. So how often do you write music? Are you are you writing every day when you're at home? Are you? Do you kind of wake up it in depends. the morning? And it really <laughs> depends. Um, like I used to write when I was younger. I used to be able to write like every day, like every spare minute I had, I could write. But now it's more. I guess as you get older, you have more barriers and more things to stop you, or more distractions. So just you know, being uh, trying to be in trying to be an adult, yeah. and also trying to have a life, and you know, it, and have something to write about. <laughs> you got to. It's the thing. You got to actually do things to have things to write about. Yeah. You know, otherwise, every song's gonna be. And I was on the tour bus today. Yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah, I was really yeah. dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to get stuck in your little world. So. How, um, I don't know how often I write. It's not. It's yeah. not that often at the moment. It's kind of like comes in like bursts at the moment. When I when I can, I can like concentrate, and get it all out. Where where do you find that inspiration? I think just from life and other people's lives, and reading and films and yeah, weird adventures that you have or weird places or bad things or bad places you go in your head like you know so just how anyone would find I it's think so. real yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 um and being here at south by southwest is this your first time doing shows in america yeah no uh no i played it i had two shows in end of last year mm -hmm. i played in new york and la mm -hmm. which was cool this is my first time in texas yeah what do you you know deep south, deep south. Have you have you gotten to eat some some local barbecue no, and stuff yet? I haven't really had a chance um, to try local cuisine. It's again the hard thing fitting yeah. in life with the endless touring you, you've exactly, got yeah. going on here. Yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you enjoying playing live? Are you enjoying kind of developing your live set? Because oh, yeah. I imagine now you're playing a lot more than you were, you know. Yeah, I am a enjoying year ago. it. I am enjoying it. Yeah. I I mean uh, yeah. I miss the band when I don't play with the band now. So. It's a good sign. Yeah. Sign they don't suck. But it's also like, you know, <laughs> when you, in your head, you want to change things all the time, and that's not always easy to do when you you got like a week of shows and you're like, oh, I wish I could do this now. I wish I could change. You kind of get not bored of your own music, but you kind of get, you want to develop it as it goes along, which is, so, you know, I want to make sure there's time to do that as well. And yeah. yeah. Um, are you playing some newer songs within your sets while you're here as well? Yeah. And yeah, I've got a few new ones that yeah. haven't been released or won't be released for a while so is the plan for the kind of the next thing to be a to be an album an album yeah, yeah. yeah. and when uh, when when can we expect it is, is it well hopefully i'll start putting songs out from yeah. it in october cool. kind of time september october and then the thing the whole album hopefully will be out next year the beginning of next year just in time for next south by Exactly. You can do it all over again. I can do it all again. over again. But you'll be a pro. <laughs> you'll be like, I know, I've got this, guys. I've got this. <laughs> Maybe don't give me a hundred shows this time. <laughs> you'll, you'll be one of those like more the, the in demand. Just, I just want just one. The two, the one or two shows. Yeah. <laughs> flies in, flies out. Yeah. Takes the paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> um. What music did you grow up listening to? Um, what did you What did your parents play at home? It was like, uh, my mum played a lot of classical music. Uh, my dad played a lot of Turkish music. A lot of, a lot Turkish of music? Turkish music, right. It's Turkish. Um, but then my mum also played like singer songwriter TV, like Cat Stevens and stuff. Um, so a lot of those songs were like in my head from a young age. But, and then, but there wasn't like loads of music. Like some people have like music surrounding them. It was kind yeah. of like, you know. I remember, so I remember it being exciting when I was hearing music through a headphone. It wasn't like I, it was everywhere all the time. I still yeah. had to like go and search for it. I didn't really listen to any chart music. I felt kind of like out of the loop in that kind yeah. of sense of my friends. Um, so it's kind of like here and there. Well, hence why you're not making commercial pop music. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> what was the first album? Do you remember the first album you bought? No. I didn't really buy any CDs. Because by the time I was old enough to buy CDs, nobody was buying CDs. It's true. It was like a weird thing. I didn't really have any. Under I remember when I got my first iPod. Yeah. That was so exciting. 
what do you remember the first song, album you put on your iPod? Maybe that's the, maybe that's the question I need to ask now. It's like I just oh. uploaded all of my sister's music onto yeah. it. It was like six days worth of wow uh, songs. Your sister's older. Yeah. So you were she borrowing. Them. So yeah. you were you, you were probably it more inspired by the music she was listening to than your, your parents. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just like it was a lot. It was a big. There was a big uh, variety. Yeah. I used to really love like pop punk kind of stuff, like Blink One Eight Two, um, All American Rejects, like that kind of stuff. Um, but then I got into like The Strokes, The Cure, um, more like indie stuff, and then. Eventually, phased out all guitar bands completely. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to so much guitar music when I was younger. Like yeah. I feel like I don't. It's weird because that's what I write, but like mm. I just feel like I don't you write on the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. And what I write is guitar music, but I don't really. Can you play the piano? Yeah, I started with piano. Mm. Piano was my first instrument. Because I would have, if I had to guess, I would have guessed you started. You made a lot of this music on the piano. Oh, okay, cool. Just, just the tone of it and the, just the melodies that are coming hey. out of it. It's interesting that you've developed that on the guitar. Thank you. I can't write music on piano. I'm really, it really sucks when I write music on piano. It's like, oh, oh well, there you go. Yeah. But it's a very, it's a very a piano sentiment, I suppose, in in the, in in the tone. So. Thank you. That's, that's the compliment. Um, no, it is. Yeah. yeah it is. No, yeah. I mean. No, I'm taking it. Piano, pianos are beautiful, and it's, <laughs> yeah. um, it's, it, it, it's, it's. it's a, it's the where the unique approach seems to be coming from on the guitar. Um, are you someone that writes with the... Are you going to be writing with your bands? The, the, uh, yeah, I write with my music? friends. I write with my band. I write with uh, other writers. Mm. Uh, I mean, I like, I like, I like writing alone. Mm. But it's, it's good to try things with people. Yeah. So you get thrown in the room with, with some people, do some songwriting yeah, sessions. Yeah, not too and, much, but like... Yeah. Yeah, I think it's healthy. Yeah, especially this about your part of the career own. too. Yeah, yeah. See what also works. Also, you and what gotta doesn't. like, you know, protect your own. Because I'm very, uh, I think I'm quite like a, a sponge. Like, I soak up a lot, and I can. If someone has a strong idea about something, I'll be like, okay, yeah, let's try it. Instead of being like, no, this is my idea. So, I think it's. It's good to some extent, but also I need to remember to do my own thing because that's otherwise what's the point? Yeah, exactly. Um, but you know, the the fun thing about this time too is you can kind of make a lot of mistakes and just yeah, kind yeah, yeah, of yeah. figure it out while people aren't paying too much attention. Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, yeah. um, that's musicians don't often get that chance once they get to a certain point to kind of it's true it's true yeah. do too much yeah. in that respect yeah um, so enjoy it thank you keep experimenting <laughs> it's gonna be I think I think I'm really excited to hear where you go with your sound because I feel like you're gonna get to experiment a lot and you're gonna get to work with a lot of amazing musicians and uh, in addition to yourself of course and uh, develop your sound into a real kind of cacophony of like just incredible music so it's I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens and from your point of view and we'll, and we'll leave it on this you know a year from now if we're sitting down here again at South by you know what what do you what do you hope has happened between now and then so the album will be out yep um, if all goes to plan all goes to plan <laughs> I'll have a really big tour bus <laughs> No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, I'll have Well, like hey, no. I mean, if you're touring around America, you've got to have a good tour bus. Yeah, I'll be doing a tour around America. That's what I'll be doing. Um, nice bus. Uh, um, maybe... What, what do you need on that loads bus? Loads of, what's, like, different... What's an essential loads thing? Loads of different, um, like, instrumentation. So yeah. we'll have lots of instruments with us. Yeah. Um, that's why we need a big tour bus. Yeah, lots of jamming on the way between yeah. gigs. Yeah, yeah, and a studio on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> You put out the bus, you know, put out a record made exclusively on the tour van. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd be like, oh, I'm in a tour van. <laughs> yeah. It'll be that again. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you later in the week with the band as well. And um, hope we get you down to Australia as well in the next year. That'd be, that'd be nice. That'd be awesome. We'll see what happens. All right, thank you very much.